action. Gentlemen, people have wondered who I am. Who is the man under the ball clava? Well, I'm here to show you. I am that man. Action. I don't want to talk. I don't want to do it. Dude, come on. You like, you want to talk to the camera? Have you ever tried talking to the camera? For all these people, sometimes they say the weird. Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so uh, if you follow me on Instagram, then you saw that T Rex Arm sent me a chest rig to try out. Uh, yet again, there was no monetary exchange, there was no expectations. It just said, Hey, we like your style, we like your we like your vibe, we like your gym jam. I don't know what a gym jam is, but it sounds appropriate with the vibing uh, terminology. So, action. This video is brought to you by Sarah Palin. Wait, Sarah Palin, she's sponsoring this video. So, T-Rex Arms chest rig. It looks like a back brace. 9,000% does. How has it held up so far? Well, it's actually pretty slick. Uh, is it the best chest rig ever made? Can they claim that? That is a bold claim. I don't know if they can claim that because there are some very functional chest rigs that have been worn by dudes that have been putting in work for their cause and have been paid to carry guns and kill people. With this, it's still very new. And for them to claim that it's the best chest rig ever made, it's a bold claim. Pretty ballsy, but we're gonna have some fun with it. What do I personally think of the chest rig? Is it worth the money? How much does it cost? How much do you know how much it costs the top of your camera guy? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, All right, well, I got it for free. So, can I recommend it? I probably should recommend stuff that I got for free. That's a bad idea as a business structure. I and mean, even talking about it, people are gonna be like, read. They're gonna get triggered. So, I think it's a cool design. I think it's another tool to have in your arsenal. I think it's another piece of kit to have. It's very slim line, it's very low profile. You can carry up to, I'd say one, two, three, four, five rifle mags. They will not fit 762 by 39. Um, it, it became personal with me. I realized that during filming this video, I didn't talk about that the fact that despite Lucas saying you can't fit 762 mags into the chest rig, you totally can. If you're brave enough, go ahead and shove them in there. They will work. Trust me on this, it's wild. I have mine set up with three rifle mags, more of a recce patrol, uh, lightweight rig, um, with a Beofang, the the forbidden Beofang, the UVR5, right? Yeah, yeah, the forbidden fruit. No, mom, mom, I can't come home. No, I'm filming a YouTube video. Ma, wait, lasagna's ready. As far as low profile chest rig, it is very, <laughs> it's very low profile. I mean, if you hit the deck with this and you're laying down flat, there is literally no double sack whatsoever and you can get nice and low to the ground. <laughs> That is ideal if someone's shooting at you. People often think about their kit and they always work in their kit from a perspective of, I will be standing. But it's a low profile chest rig. You can really also move furniture in it. It'll support your back and have great lumbar support. On the rear of the panel, you have your extra wide, uh, extra wide, uh, what's the word? It's the, uh, you know, like this. I call it a cell maybe, I don't know, where it's like a, you hold stuff. So this one's a wide, it's large and it holds stuff. So I have an old first aid kit here. It's not open, not ready to go. And so in case I get my hands bloody, I'll die and because I won't be able to use it. Nothing on this side. I only got the one first aid kit, another rifle mag over here, and then the pistol mags up here. All right, pretty self-explanatory, pretty low profile. Then a little TQ holder where there's not a TQ in it. And then the front flap right there. Okay, so all in all, it's a pretty basic design. It reminds me of a Unity clutch belt with a harness, but it's not on your belt, right? It's actually, more so that mid-ride chest rig where it's at. It does hug the body nicely. It's a cummerbund without the place, like the man said. So, a lot of things going on. I think, as far as our chest rig design, I think they did do a good job. Is it the best one ever? Can you claim it's the best chest rig ever? I don't think you can. There's no specific kit that you can claim is the best one ever. Is it high quality? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's well made. Is it gonna hold up wear and tear? Time will tell, okay. Nylon and Velcro have a tendency to wear out after a while. I've seen on my ferro rig after years of use, I mean, but it still works. Is it gonna look slick and squared away? Eh, it's up to your preference. Yeah, of course I have information that's gonna leave the rest of Hillary Clinton. No, Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself, he was murdered. Where am I? Middle of a dirt field surrounded by high structures. Why does that matter?
I mean, it's not as tight as it could be. If I cinch it down all the way, you got a little flap. I got to adjust a little bit more on the rear. It stays in pretty good. It moves very little. It's nice and lightweight, which is what you want if you're humping around for a few miles. All right. Any other questions on missing camera guy? I think we need some B-roll of you flopping down doing a Chris Costa. The Chris Costa. So this could be something that you use in conjunction with body armor. One second. Here is some slick first spear armor, right? This is 3A, meant for pistol caliber. Rifle's gonna go kill you and cut through this like butter. But you can use it in conjunction with the chest rig. No, my dad. So the slick, just designed for armor, right? Protection for ballistic threats. Now, if you need to carry more gear, besides the Glock 19 tucked in between my waistband, take this bad boy, you can throw it on. And depending on your sign, bam, force multiplication, how fun. Now you have more gear to carry on your person while protecting you from minimal ballistic threats. So that's nice, it's a perk, nice. it's a bonus. And it's all very low profile. That's still gonna hide nicely underneath the jacket, which I can actually show you, one second. Besides wearing an Arcturus jacket and standing out and not being a great man because you look like a tactical monkey, it's gonna hide very nicely. It's gonna break out the silhouette. At least I'll hedge my bets that it will. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't gone out in public and ordered coffee while wearing the TRX Arms chest rig. Well, now we're gonna have to do that. Well, now we're gonna have to do that. Things you do for YouTube. All right, so, I mean, if you're sitting here chilling and you have it on, I might wanna zip it up a little bit more and hide the armor. What can you, camera guy, what do you see? Does it look like I have armor on underneath this? Very good. All right, I like the camera check. It was a nice touch. So, <laughs> you son of a gun. Ooh. So, you have the concealability of this chest rig on top of armor as well. Now, if it didn't have the armor on, it's gonna blend in just as nicely. That's also a perk. Yo, do a 360. No, you really actually can't tell. Like yeah. legitimately, you you can't really tell. It just looks like you had a few too many Guinness. Yeah. Oh, oh man. girl, she's thick. Might just be in my beer gut, but then, bam! Oh! You're ready to do gray man things and uh, go be in non permissive environments. Parkour, parkour, parkour! Internet sensation of 2004. And it was in one of the Bond films. Parkour! It's pretty impressive. Parkour! 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 All right, so clearly you saw that under stress and dynamic situations, the chest rig, as well, on top of being the armor, worked and functioned as designed. And it didn't interfere with my carry setup. Very nice, very good. Uh, is it still the best one ever? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Spend your money where you want. The PSA, that's an important message. When you go to the range, Make sure you clean up after yourself, all right? Please don't shoot TVs out in the range on public land. Please don't litter. Don't shoot freaking weird yard signs and gas tanks and stuff like that. The range we go to was loaded with a whole bunch of stuff, so we spent some good time cleaning it up off camera because we're not trying to get internet clout for cleaning up a range. It's just the right thing to do. Please, for the love of God. If you do that, you are a shitty person, and you need to know that. Uh, as far as brass goes, don't worry about the brass. The fuds will be out there and pick it up for you. So, it should be okay. Gentlemen, thank you for your purchases of the t-shirts. I greatly appreciate that and your support of the channel. If you haven't snagged a t-shirt yet, go and snag one. I have limited supplies uh, while they last. They are going like hotcakes, so get one while you can. I ship them out as quick as I possible. I am a one-man operation, but I appreciate it greatly. If you're wondering, hey, why aren't you wearing a t-shirt right now? This was a Christmas gift, so I'm rocking my Christmas gift. So thank you to the person who got me this Patagucci shirt. But in the next video, I'll be rocking my MZRA shirt. <sighs> we gotta get some more advertisers on this channel. I'm gonna pay for our stuff. This video is brought to you by Not Your Mom. Sponsored by Not Your Mom. Endorsed by Not Your Mom. Your mom's a wonderful woman, and I'd love to take her on a date, and I would call her back.